All right, guys, today is a special day because we are about to see a game room that nobody has seen. Nobody. Pac-Man Case, my friends. This is oh, wow. this is my guy, Pac-Man Case. Amazing YouTube channel. What I love about your YouTube channel is you are a professional editor. He knows he knows what to do, y'all. Here we go. Game room. Now let's just start with a with a hall. The man has a game the, hall. I call this the hall of game. Okay. Oh wow, that's good. That's good. <laughs> right here, we got some we yes. got some pictures up. Uh, this like was this. incredible. So these Ninja Turtles, they were all done by a uh, artist. His name is American Discord, and I had them all signed okay. at the convention. And it's the classic turtles, man. But I love this. I love the artwork. They look great, man. Big turtle fan. Yeah. Always been a big turtle fan. Still a turtle fan? Do you like oh. do you like the older? Or it's got to be it's got to be OG turtles. I'm okay on the Nickelodeon series, but not the new one. Mm, see, so I'm a not one. a big Nickelodeon yeah. turtle guy, but yeah. I, I I can respect. But that. nineteen respect the it. the nineteen ninety movie. Oh, it's so good. Incredible. Kawabunga. Well, let's flip over here. We have uh, a couple shelves up. Xbox, is this all Xbox 360? This is Xbox 360, ex uh, exclusively Xbox 360 right here. A little bit of Xbox here and my PlayStation 3 collection. And okay. then some of the fun stuff up here. Yeah, this, this is Red vs. Blue. <laughs> Did you ever watch Red vs. Blue? I just like there's a, like there's oh, Alex, Alex Trebek, Trebek so Darkwing, <laughs> and then that. This is funny because Alex Trebek is my wife's favorite. Like okay. of all time, and when he passed away, R.I.P. Alex Trebek. I uh, she I needed to get her the pop. And then Red versus Blue, I found that at a Goodwill for two ninety nine, signed by all of the uh, guys that voice. Okay. Red versus Blue, which is awesome. I've always loved that stuff for sure. But I was yeah. a three sixty during that era. Yeah, I this is a healthy little man. collection right here. Big Batman guy, nineteen eighty nine Batman, Michael Keaton, all day. Classic. That's me. That's me. I, I got love it. it. So I started finding yeah, this like this is the Batman shelf. Yeah, right this is here. a Batman shelf, dude. So so you've got a, this is an actual grappling hook. Okay. You open it up. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Literally. My heart. My heart, then, bro. This is what Batman does when he's waiting for it to come up. <laughs> oh! Every, every Batman object scares Rick. I was a huge fan of God of War. And I know a lot of people, um, God of War 3 came out on the PlayStation 3 and it was gonna be for the pay, uh, PlayStation uh, 4, right. but I know they brought it in. Um, I've always been a huge fan of the Devil May Cry series too, um, okay. which PlayStation has done a really good job on. And then there is one here that a lot of people are sought after for collecting is this 3D dot game hero. Dude. Yes, yeah. I actually got this game super cheap at like a GameStop and it is shot up and down yeah. like crazy. That's where I was, $14.99 and I don't know what it's at now. I think it's something. It's gotta the, be at least 50. Mm -hmm. I bet it's at least 50. For sure. And I've always been a fighting game fan and PlayStation always hit at home. So your, your Marvel vs. Capcoms and your uh, King of Fighters. Oh yeah. But great stuff on the PlayStation. You have a bunch of these. Is this the, the so, motion? Yeah, man. So this is the PlayStation Move collection. I think I'm missing like five or six of them. Okay. But there is some awesome games if you give it a shot. There's one called Medieval Moves where you walk around that one too. as a little dead ghost and you shoot people with your move controller with a bow and arrow. We have moved from the game room hall to <laughs> one of the game rooms. Here we go. Here's... <laughs> one of many. Which one? Do you, you want to go with this one first? You dirty dog. I, I, I can't imagine having this much space to have video games why, it's why you move to the south, baby. Know, Super man. southern comfort. Here it is. Right here okay. for you. So mostly modern in here? Yeah, so I, I want, when I swapped the uh, my original retro room, so I had one game room at our old house and it had everything crammed okay. into the room. I'm a big retro gaming fan, but I'm also a big modern gaming fan. Yeah. And I wanted to kind of separate them out so that people felt like you were in two different eras. Okay. So when you come in here, you're relaxing, you're playing a little bit of modern gaming. Um, and then over here, you uh, walk into the retro room. Uh, we so can't go, we, you can't, can't talk go about that yet. yet. That's that classified right now. Mm, looks great. Huh. So we have a we have a, a whole wall over here. Yes. These are this is a, a genius idea. Just like dude, crates. it's not bad. They're I think they're like twelve ninety nine. Okay. You can get them at Michael's and you just stack them up and then it gives you little showcase sections I all over the place. I dig so. it. PS4. Mm -hmm. What do we all what all do we have? So here? right now, so it's all modern gaming in here. We obviously went so anything that's HDMI is in this okay. section, right? So you've got your Xbox, PS3, your PS4. 
The chainsaw controller I, I actually is here. I just saw this at another game store so awesome. recently. So okay. awesome. And then this I found at the thrift. It was Biohazard on the original GameCube. There's just something about these. So cool. Yes, the Japanese. They, they, they look completely different from ours. Like, yeah. completely different. And They're I really, really cool. I like how, like, compact they are. Uh, big fan of Kratos. Like I told you for God of War, so I got a little pixel pal of him. And then down here is Kratos uh, and Atreyu. Atreyu. <laughs> Never ending story. <laughs> uh, hey, huge, huge. I don't care. Oh, He's oh. He's my guy. Yes! Yes, Ness Earth, all day. Earthbound is my favorite. Is my favorite game. Uh, huge Street Fighter fan. Uh, the pop series that came out. Tell me already how good this movie was. Okay, I'm not even trying. <laughs> I'm not even trying to flex, guys. I'm not trying. I posted. It was a pretty cool picture of yeah. this VHS, and I tagged Jean Claude. He Ooh, reposted it and was so like, awesome. and was like, Retro Rick, thanks for the. Uh, thanks for the picture and he reposted I'm like I'm done yeah I can quit <laughs> Jean Claude me basically me and Sean Claude are like bros now at this point awesome. no who wants to go home and who wants to go with me so over here we have just controllers just really clean because you actually made an Xbox 360 controller uh, video right yes all right shameless yes. plug we'll put it somewhere on the screen yep. check that out but this is really clean I like it simple nice you got all the different controllers any anything on here in particular like I, lo I love this one this yeah is the man one I, like. I would have to say the Gears of War is probably the most dope it's pretty of everything it's incredible I got this at a thrift recently, no back, but I got it for like three bucks or something. So. I know they're hard to find now. Yeah. Okay, moving over to your, awesome. this is the actual yeah. comfortable yes. where you game, right here. This is a giant sectional, so you can hang out with your friends, and then attached to it, I have the Pandora stick, which lets you play any arcade game you can think of. Oh, is this like uh, emulation stuff? Mm-hmm. Is this some of that emulation stuff? Is this where you, are you uh, stealing from the government with this? I own every game. Oh, okay. I own every great. game. This is great. Uh, and all the, is it Guitar Hero? Yeah, okay, so. not Rock Band. No, so it is Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Okay. And, uh, are you like a pro? Dude. Slap in the bass, man. Uh, I, I have never been. I've never been great. Been, been great at it. Whoa! Yeah. Freaking Casper. This you know is, what you're playing. <laughs> Stop yeah. it. We do have a ghost. I apologize. This is Gran Turismo with the Gran Turismo Thrustmaster wheel. And to be honest, man, sit in it. Oh, again. <laughs> Six three. <laughs> Feel the pedals. Reach. There we go. I'm in now. Oh wow. Oh, he's going. Did I tell you I only play old games? Oh wait, wait. God. Let me get him a NES controller real quick. Yeah, give me an NES advantage, I can kill this. The kiosk, Nintendo right? Switch I feel kiosk. like you can't be a collector these days without trying to find a kiosk out in the wild. I have so. never had the opportunity to get one of these, so these are awesome. I yeah. love it. I lucked out, I was friends with the manager, and they're stupid. GameStop was like, hey, we gotta get rid of this so that we can put up posters of Pokemon. So he was like, I gotta dump it. And I was like, you're gonna dump it in the back of my truck? He says, yes, we are. So I picked it up and I turned it into a classic console gaming station. This is genius. So yeah. good. This is where I get excited. <laughs> yes. I am, yes. I, I actually lean a little more toward towards toys as of late. Yeah. It's not because I don't love seeing all the game stuff. It's just that I've seen it so much and there's more toys that I haven't seen before. So I get excited about seeing uh, stuff like this. So awesome. this is two cases completely filled yeah. with, are they mostly vintage? So these are all original vintage Beast Wars figures. In the beginning came the beasts and all that creeps, crawls, and flies. But nature lies, they're robots in disguise. So it's, there's generation transformers and then they came out with the Beast Wars cartoon and did a whole line of transformers that were animals. Okay, wow. Yep. yep, and so this is the collection that I grew up with. Every single one is complete in there, and okay. they're incredible. They're all, yep. yeah, they're beautiful. Yep. And yes. some vintage TMNT. This is this is where I live. This yeah. is the yeah. stuff that I, that I really like. I love it. So, I, I mean, I have found vintage stuff out in the wild, but lately they have been killing it with some of the releases, like I, these new ones, man. I've never even seen these. These are if awesome. I, if I may. GameStop clearance these out, and I got these guys, I think, for half. So like 25 bucks, they went for oh, 75. Yeah, those are so, must. Bebop Rocksteady and The Krang. This is, this is beautiful. Don't tell me, is that the DVD set? That's the DVD set. 
Yo, there's a DVD <laughs> yep. set of yep. him and T in, in the party wagon. I I never it's, see that, and it's super expensive now. I was going thrifting with my daughter, and she pointed it out. She's like, Dad, is that the turtle van thing? And I pick it up, thinking it's just a toy. Open it up. Oh. That's why you thrift for the kids. Dude, I love it. Daddy, are we going to the flea market today? Get some of the classic drinks for the game room. Mountain Dew Sprite and this Cherry is, Coke, baby. I don't know how you like you so. you want to be here all the time. You never <laughs> yeah. want to like go to work or anything. Just, have a secret door before you leave. I didn't so have scared. any spot for handhelds. Okay. So I have made a handheld drawer that opens up to your PSP. Uh, I was collecting for a long time the handheld stuff and uh, I've found some really cool stuff out thrifting because a lot of people think they're like a phone or a tablet. <laughs> I'm ready for the other, oh, other, yes. other game room. Kay. The retro room. This is... I, use, I, I yes. used to do movies, man. So See, told you, professional. I've done, I've done about eight short films. So that's awesome, man. Gotta, you gotta know, you gotta know who did it. Here Welcome we to Lock. Now this, I could hang out in here for a good bit, man. This is all retro, all the time. There's a couple things that are, are modern, but this is literally everything that I grew up at with as a kid, okay. and I love it, man. There's yes. a lot to talk about yes. here. The first thing I, I, I see that I really like are these. This man is a genius. This is quarter round. Is it quarter, did you cut it? It's quarter just, round. It's just straight up quarter, quarter round. round. You are going to break the internet with retro game collectors. <laughs> Everybody is going to start to start doing this. Yeah. So, looks beautiful, and then I think you just have a little bit of sticky tack. Yeah, it's sure literally stays. just a little sticky, don't pull it off. Okay, here we go. There you go, just a little sticky tack and you right put there. it back on. Right there. You don't have to put the sticky tack on, it'll balance, but it's just in Why case. Not? Yeah. Just that, in and case. this is how, how close are you to the full N64 set? 19 away. Are you gonna 19 try to get any games? Siege? Yes. If I can find what's a the, lot of the heavy the hitters. One? What's the main one you I want? I gotta get Worms Armageddon. Okay. I don't have that guy, and I don't have Carmageddon 64. Okay. So if I can find those two, I'd be stoked. My all time favorite N64 game is Diddy Kong Racing. Have a banana and get ready for a wild racing adventure with Diddy Kong Racing for Nintendo 64. It's a gas. We could hang out. Diddy Kong Racing, dude. I, I think it's better than Mario 64. I love but, Mario Kart 64. Or, or, I don't hate me. Don't hate Diddy me on Kong. Mario Kart. The adventure mode. It's different. It's There's just, a story. Yes. See? I'm so, with you, yeah, bro. Diddy Kong's amazing, and that's my OG Diddy Kong case when I was a little kid, which uh, what it's about. All right, so. Uh, Get over here. What so this? over here. So this is actually really interesting. Um, this is an entire. Uh, an Xbox. Oh, oh, oh! Be careful. This is an Xbox 360 like stand. Okay. So it houses the Xbox 360 and then four controllers, and then you can just hook up a, a monitor to it. I do apologize. I do have one modern thing in this room. <gasps> you can't. But you can't hook this up to HDMI. That's what I was gonna say. See, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> this is, you said HDMI. Yeah, you're right. See? You can't get up to HDMI. So this makes. Uh, this dude, I, it's the stupid fridge, man, and I thought it was really cool, and I <laughs> yeah, threw in Mountain Dew. Steven <laughs> you even ask, I don't freaking care. You just, I own this joint. Uh, to double Dreamcast, is there yep, a okay. different? Yes, so this was my best friend's Dreamcast from childhood. He gifted it to me for my birthday. You stole it. Every, I stole it, I stole it, yes. Genesis box, which I found at a thrift store. And good. then I have a problem, Rick. I have a problem with joysticks. I love to collect. <laughs> I love to collect. <laughs> I, 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 I get it. I, I'm seeing something already that's a little unique. This right here. What is this guy? This is the arcade stick. I think they call it the uh, shark. shark. Arcade right? shark. Right, the arcade shark. That's for the Nintendo 64. Goodwill. And, yep, that. Goodwill. And you can take the joystick off and move it to the left side. You have no skills and you're a loser. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then okay. some some cool i 64 peripherals over there, and then trying to collect all the controllers for the 64 right now, too. Okay. And then I decided to rip out all of the vintage posters from the magazines and put them up like I would when I was 12 years old. Well, that's honestly what they were for, so uh, I can kind of get that. It's incredible. We have not shown you guys yet the uh, secret. The secret to where all the games are actually stored. Yeah. I, I'm just going to do one. You don't even say anything. I'm just going to see. Do it. Pick one. Uh, I'd like to see what's it. Oh, is it this way? Yeah, 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 underneath. Oh, I was like, how am I supposed to get in? Oh, wow. Uh, the guy's got a lot of games. Do another drawer. Uh, do I just pull it? You got a problem, dude. Do another drawer. He's got, he got, he got. <laughs> do another oh drawer. Oh my gosh. Oh, power range. Oh, there it is. 
Do another drive. <laughs> My goodness. I liked it. Down here is all your strategy guides. Anytime you want to grab a controller from the retro consoles that are hooked up. Got some arcades, got a couple uh, arcade one-ups. Yep. Boom, boom. The beautiful, it, where the crap did you get this? So it was a giant arcade and they just rotate stuff out all okay. the time. And I ended up asking them uh, if they would do it for 600 is what I picked up for. And it normally goes for about 14 or 15. Yeah. So That's a great piece. Capcom is an amazing game too. Yeah. Every single collector has their sweet Nintendo section, Nintendo game boxes. Clean, bro. Yep, and then beautiful, obviously the consoles. Beautiful CRT. Yeah, that's a, that's a that looks crispy, man. I love this one, and this is the same CRT that uh, GameSack uses. And then I ended up going with this uh, drawer section because normally it's a cube. You know IKEA, right? They've Everyone got the collapse. Cube. Yep, do. do the cube because that's what's back here. But I decided to do something a little bit more streamlined because consoles are all a little thin. So yeah, man. Looks yeah. Great. So I think you have one more space, right? I do have one more space. Let's let's just check that out real quick. Okay. This is the production room because I have to be a real YouTuber. <laughs> no, most of you real YouTubers, YouTubers don't have an actual production room. I, so. I, so I love making films, I love editing, so I wanted to give myself a space that I could just kind of be calm in. So we just painted this like a midnight blue. And then uh, I'm a huge comic book fan, just like right growing up, X-Men. Yeah. Um, so over here on the right side is some cool nods to classic Star Wars X-Men characters. These are incredible. Pocket comics, so <laughs> rad. Bro, no seriously. That's better. <laughs> if you have not watched or checked out his channel yet, you need to. Great, great content. Awesome. Um, dude, thank you for letting us tour your eight game rooms. <laughs> that was <laughs> yes, awesome. I've never welcome. done that before. I'm glad we missed the bathroom. Man. Uh, <laughs> But seriously, go check out his channel. Uh, he, I'm sure he's gonna do more, maybe in depth, you know, looks at this uh, whole game room, yeah. game space, because he literally did this in two, two weeks, guys. Two freaking weeks. Two weeks. All of it. So thank <laughs> yeah, you so much, man. That's why it's, it's been a blast. Awesome, Rick. Thanks so much for coming and checking my stuff out. You're welcome awesome. anytime. Daddy, are we going to the flea market today?